Hello everybody. This is class 7 science. We are discussing here nutrition in plant. Objective of this chapter to know about the component of food. How do the plant makes food? Elementary idea about the cell. To understand photosynthesis in plant. To get familiar with different type of plant and their food. To solve the assignments. Aha! Here, Wuzu wants to know how plant prepare their own food. Aha! Component of foods are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Here we can see the cycle of photosynthesis in the picture. Really, these component of foods are necessary for our food and are called nutrients. Plants can make their food themselves but animals including human cannot. They get it from plants or animal that they eat. Thus, human and animal are directly or indirectly depend on plants. Let us talk about mode of nutrition in plant. Generally, plants are the only organisms that can prepare the food for themselves by using water, carbon dioxide and mineral. The nutrients enable living organisms to build their bodies, to grow, to repair damaged parts of their bodies and provide the energy to carry out life processes. To that plant in your balcony, unlike your cat, it does not walk around requesting or rather demanding food. Your plant is happy with the water you give it. But is that all a plant needs to survive? Water? Does a plant need food? The answer is yes. So where does a plant get its food from? Well, plants make their own food and this video will tell you how. My name is Ayush Sinha. Plants need three things to make food. The first, you guessed it, is water. When you water a plant, its roots absorb water from the soil. The water is then passed on to the stem, which in turn passes it on to the leaves of the plant. The second things plants need to make their food is carbon dioxide. You've probably heard of carbon dioxide. It is a chemical that is in the air. So how do plants absorb carbon dioxide? Well, plants have small openings on their leaves. These are called stomata. Carbon dioxide is absorbed through these small openings. Once plants have both water and carbon dioxide, they need one more key ingredient, that is light. Now, the leaves of a plant contain tiny things called chloroplasts. Chloroplasts is what give leaves their green colour. However, chloroplasts also take carbon dioxide, water and light and turn them into sugar and oxygen. This sugar is the plant's food. The oxygen, on the other hand, is released back into the atmosphere. If you have understood things so far, then the definition of photosynthesis should be easy. Here it is. Photosynthesis is the process through which plants use water, light and carbon dioxide to create their food and release oxygen into the air. Now here is a question for you. Plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Do humans and animals? The mode of nutrition in which organisms make food themselves from simple substances is called autotrophic, that is, auto means self, and trophs means nourishment, that is, nutrition. Therefore, plants are called autotrophs. Animals and most other organisms take in ready-made food prepared by the plants. They are called heterotrophs. Hetero means other. 
here we can talk about a cell you have seen that buildings are made of bricks similarly the bodies of living organisms are made of tiny units called cell cell can be seen only under the microscope some organism are made of only one cell the cell is enclosed by a thin outer boundary called the cell membrane most cells have a distinct centrally located spherical structure which is called nucleus the nucleus is surrounded by a jelly like substance called cytoplasm the leaves have a green pigment called chlorophyll it helps leaves to capture the energy of sunlight this energy is used to synthesize or prepare food from carbon dioxide and water since the synthesis of food occurs in the presence of sunlight so it is called photosynthesis photo means light and synthesis means to combine paheli wants to know why our body cannot make food from carbon dioxide water minerals like plants do so that is how do plants obtain the raw materials from the surrounding how do they transport them to food factories of the plant so we find that chlorophyll sunlight carbon dioxide and water are necessary to carry out the process of photosynthesis it is a unique process on the earth the solar energy is captured by the leaves and is stored in the plant in the form of food thus sun in the ultimate source of energy for living organism besides leaves photosynthesis also take place in other green plants of the plant in which is green branches may be stem and it may be other parts the desert plant have scale or spine like leaves to reduce loss of water by transportation these plants have green stem which carry out photosynthesis the leaves other than green also have chlorophyll the large amount of red brown and other pigment mask the green color photosynthesis take place in these leaves also these are generally formed by the growth of organism called algae you can see in the picture synthesis of plant food other than carbohydrates since we know that plant synthesizes carbohydrates through the process of photosynthesis the carbohydrates are made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen these are used to synthesize other component of food such as protein and fats but proteins are nitrogenous substance which contain nitrogen nitrogen is present in abundance in gases form in the air however plants cannot absorb nitrogen in this form soil has certain bacteria that convert gases nitrogen into a usable form and release it into the soil these soluble forms are called absorbed by the plants along with the water other modes of nutrition in plants there are some plants which do not have chlorophyll they cannot synthesize their food how do they survive and from where do they derive nutrition like humans and animals such plants depend on the food produced by the other plant they use the heterotrophic mode of nutrition like in the picture see yellow tubular structures twining around the stem and branches of the tree this is a plant called cascata or amber bale it does not have chlorophyll it takes ready made food from the plant on which it is climbing the plant on which it climb is called host since it deprives the host of valuable nutrients it is called parasite like mosquitoes bed bugs leaves and leeches that suck or blood also parasites oh have you seen or heard of plants that can eat animals 
There are a few plants which can trap insects and digest them. Is it not amazing? Such plants may be green or more some of other color. Look at the plant. The pitcher-like structure is the modified part of the leaf. The apex of the leaf forms a lid which can open and close the mouth of the pitcher. Inside the pitcher, there are hair which are directed downwards. When an insect lands in the pitcher, the lid closes and trapped, the insects get entangled into the hair. The insect is digested by the digestive juice secreted in the pitcher. Such insects eating plants are called insectivorous plant. Saprotropic nutrition or lysotropic nutrition. It is a process of chemoheterotropic or extracellular digestion involved in the processing of decayed organic matter. It occurs in saprotrophs and heterotrophs and is most often associated with fungi, for example, mocha and soil bacteria. Saprotropic microscopic fungi are sometimes called sapros, saprotropic plants or bacterial flora, which is called saprophytes, saproplasphytes, that is, rotten material plant. Now let us review the chapter, what we learn in the chapter. All organism takes food and utilize it to get energy for the growth and maintenance of their bodies. Green plants synthesize their food themselves by the process of photosynthesis, they are autotrophs. Plants use simple chemical substances like carbon dioxide, water and mineral for the synthesis of food. Chlorophyll and sunlight are the essential requirements for photosynthesis. Complex chemical substances such as carbohydrate are the products of photosynthesis. Solar energy is stored in the form of food in the leaves with the help of chlorophyll. Similarly, oxygen is produced during photosynthesis. Oxygen released in photosynthesis, which is utilized by living organisms for their. Now, here are the assignments for you. You can check what you learn from the lesson.